referred to as simply the Freetown State Forest. The area is a 10,000 acre state preserve located within the lower right hand portion of the Bridgewater Triangle. The forest has a long history of reported paranormal activity, including a series of ghostly hauntings and unexplained creature sightings. Look to the right. Oh, 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 okay. oh my gosh. Something's like touching my elbow. Actually? Yeah, like they like pinched it. Some paranormal researchers and enthusiasts point to a negative energy within the forest, which has served to attract a sinister human element. A demon here. Jesus! Oh my god, look at it go! Oh my god, someone just held that. Freetown State Forest has seen a disproportionate amount of criminal activity. Again. Oh my god! What? 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 I just saw someone standing right on the top of the rock. Who the f is there? Who's that? Is there a hiker? Oh, that was a giggle. What's with the giggles here? Oh, sh son of a. What the? Oh. Listen, listen. Don't worry. I'm not gonna lie, guys. I just shat myself. <laughs> Toilet paper TP from YouTube. my bungle. <laughs> All right, YouTube. We made it to the Freetown State Forest, which is one of the most haunted forests in all of America. They got Bigfoot sightings here, UFO sightings, puck wedgie sightings, spiritual activity. This was the spot where a war happened between the rebels, the Native Americans, um, the Algonquin people, the Wapanoak tribe. They all fought European settlers here. And for what they say after that war was the most bloodiest war in all of American history. And they say that those tribes cursed this entire forest. And yeah, this is still part of the Bridgewater Triangle. So you got all that phenomenon here. And supposedly the Freetown State Forest is one of the most, it's even more dangerous than the Hockamock Swamp. For what some people say, some people say the Hockamock's a lot more dangerous, but hey, we just pulled up you good? <laughs> right now, right now. You seem to be like... No, no, I'm, uh, I'm excited to be here. It's nice that like it's we're starting during the day so we can actually get like a vibe of our surroundings. Um, but I am a little nervous that we're like, I don't know, satanic rituals and stuff went down here. So what if tonight's the night and they just decide to do another satanic ritual? Yeah, I'm not know? joking, guys. Satanic rituals happened here is a big thing up until the 2000s. I think from what I heard, I think some people are still doing satanic stuff in this forest as we speak right now probably not to the extent as back in the day but this is where the site of the satanic panic happened mm -hmm. back in the 80s it was huge people were getting sacrificed the whole entire cult was a lot bigger than i don't know if it is right now but all right you ready to do this I'm ready. I'm ready. all right let's uh send it So tonight's investigation brings us to the Freetown State Forest to try and document some of the supernatural claims locals have been having. So this 5,000 acre section of the triangle is said to be where the most satanic rituals took place. However, tonight's episode, we are solely basing our adventure off the infamous Sonnet Ledge. Now, before I get into the history, I just wanna let you guys know that this area is still part of the Bridgewater Triangle and Puckwudgies, Bigfoot, UFO sightings are all still seen in these parts. So the Asonet Ledge dates back hundreds to thousands of years inside the Freetown State Forest and legend has it since the Wapanoak tribe have used this land throughout the span of time so heavily. Hitchhikers and locals have even claimed to see some of the spirits of them weaving through the trees. And some locals have even come so far to say that they only appear to some people. And some people even claim to see the victims of a 17th century war against the Puritans, which some of the Native Americans actually leaped off the cliff to their death just so they weren't oppressed by the English. So the main reason why we wanted to visit and focus our attention on the Asana Ledge tonight is because of one reason. There are major sightings of a Wampanoag woman in a dress by the cliff, and she is known to jump off into the water to only disappear without a splash. The ledge is arguably the most famous location within the Freetown State Forest. The site has been associated with a high volume of paranormal activity. I was walking out onto the ledge and I saw this woman in white standing out on the prominence. And I turned around to the people I was with to say, hey, we're not alone. Turned around and she was gone. 
And at that first instant, I figured, oh, crap, she jumped. So I went running over to the edge to look down to find nobody. And the two town residents that have lived here all their lives are like, oh, you saw the lady of the ledge. And they proceeded to tell me this folklore about a woman who had committed suicide because her lover was supposed to meet her here. And the story behind the woman is that it is believed that she ended her own life by jumping off the cliff to her death after her lover stopped coming to see her. And it is widely known to this day that her residual energy appears every so often to relive those moments. Now the Freetown State Forest was also the location of multiple homicides which have now been labeled as satanic doings and in the 1980s while police were investigating a local murder, witnesses actually came forward claiming to see legitimate ritual activities and sacrifices in these woods. Which makes so much sense because during the 1980s this entire area was in the pure grip of the satanic panic. Church of a preacher named Roy Masters. Come out. No. I won't let her go. No. Exorcisms of the devil appear just as sincere, far out, and dramatic. Lust to power. So looking more into this, there have been real human sacrifices and animal sacrifices within the state forest. And some people to this day believe that there is still cult activity within the forest itself. The thing about this forest is people actually go missing, whether they get kidnapped or just lost or even attacked. So instead of going to go look for the cult activities and putting us at danger, we are solely basing our investigation on a sonnet ledge trying to capture the story of the Wapanog woman, as well as any of the other tribe members seen in the trees. So this episode is going to be starting a little bit different, a little bit more adventurous than our normal. I know some of them are still adventurous, but this one's just going to be, since we're starting in the daytime, just going to be rolling with one camera, our adventure cam, and pretty much showing you guys our adventure into this. We got to find a ledge. It's a huge cliff where supposedly this woman appears to a lot of people. Yeah, it's known as like one of the most haunted um I think there's like 13 hot spots within this whole triangle. There probably is more, but this is one of the hot spots for paranormal activity. Yeah, I think this is more paranormal wise. The Bigfoot sightings seem to be like farther, you know, like 30, 40 minutes from here. I mean, it doesn't mean the Bigfoot could trek here. I mean, 30, 40 minutes for Bigfoot's probably like a couple steps. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably like 10 minutes. Uh, so I gotta pull up my maps here. I think we just gotta follow this and then we'll eventually get there. So yeah, what we're gonna do when the sun sets is grab our camera. She's gonna have one. I'm gonna have one. And we're probably most likely gonna be basing this off of spiritual activity, trying to capture that woman in a dress. Hunting for a cryptid sometimes can take a while. It's hard. You're never really guaranteed. Yeah, like we spent like a solid three, four hours yesterday in the, the swamp area. Yeah. And like we got some good stuff, but it, I find it's a lot harder. It's harder to tell, you know? Yeah. Most of the claims seem to be a little bit spiritual, you know, like the Pukwudgies are supposedly spiritual beings. So they're not actually like, they're not actually alive. They're spiritual. What's that sign say? Boundary. Boundary. Already got a plane going up. Oh god, look at that. I dare to walk right through it. Yeah, no thanks. So from what the map's saying, we have to hit a road, which seems to be this one here. We go left. And what this whole entire cliff is, is a quarry. Apparently too, um, a lot of people who go to this cliff, um, when they get onto the, the top of it, they feel this sudden urge to just jump off. Wait, but, are you serious right now? Yeah, I read that online. They feel but, like they want to jump. Yeah, but these people before, like a lot of people that have said that have said like they've never once thought about like taking their own life. But once they got up here, they're like, they had this urge to want to jump off. Jeez. Yeah. I straight up thought that was a person right there. Oh, it's just someone's sweater. Wait, so I 
There's a couple jackets. Those are two people's jackets. There's a hat down there. Yeah. Huh. All right. So which way do we go? Ah, uh, we gotta go this way. This investigation is gonna run a little bit differently, like I said. We're not only hunting spiritual activity, that's what we're basing it off of, but this forest has known to be the home of a lot of cryptic animals, or cryptid, I should say. So we're gonna try and keep our voices a little bit down. I'm still trying to find this damn quarry. I think this is it. Wait, where the heck are we going? Maybe check your map? Yeah, we gotta go down that way more. I don't know if this leads to it. We might have to go back. Okay. So another cool thing about this spot is we found out that a man who was a satanic cult, he was a leader or something like that. He had a cabin somewhere in this forest. We may have to drive to it later, but he performed all of these sorts of rituals. I think he did sacrifices there on animals and even real people and not only that he was a pimp okay. he was a pimp straight up is this it right now I think it's just right look at all this stuff there's a bunch of writing out here so this is the moment of truth if there's water this is it for what the coordinates sent us to this seems to be the actual ledge There water though. I feel like dry up. Oh yeah. There's water. Yeah. Oh, this is it. Oh, who the f is that? Oh, those are just people. Yeah. Oh my God. Oh, no way. No way right now. Holy shit, this is it. This is where the woman's seen. Only thing is, where the hell is she? Whoa. You all right? Yeah, I, I didn't realize I'm kind of a little low-key scared of heights, I guess. I didn't know that. What? I thought you were gonna push me. <laughs> right now, this is the forest where a lot of sightings happen. Not only paranormal, this could actually be very dangerous for us. We're new to the area. We have no idea truly what is going down or what can go down here on a normal basis. I mean, most likely a lot of this stuff could be ridiculous, but this is why we're here to try and document it for you, bring you guys along and give you guys our experience and whatever we catch is what we catch, right? I think we're gonna base our investigation tonight on anything. If we can document anything on tape, that's, that's the objective, that would be amazing. We're gonna camp here, get our stuff ready, and um, start our investigation at nightfall. I wonder if anyone's died here though. I don't know. You know? Are you getting any messages at all? Or anything? Not currently. You hear that? It's that chatter. I mean, people could still be in the forest. It is like a hiking area. This spot? Not gonna lie, it could be very dangerous. Bigfoot sightings, UFOs, which we're most likely not gonna catch, but you got Pukwudgies, spirits, uh, a lot of satanic stuff. They could have conjured even some sort of entity mm -hmm. or ghost here. Um, so if you guys don't know, this was the spot of a major war. This whole entire triangle has phenomenons of a lot of things. Whatever you can possibly think about is what they got here. Serpents even. A lot of stuff went down here, so I just, I kind of feel unsafe in a way, but we're going to protect ourselves. But get this. I got an offering for them today. That is, unfortunately it's not reserved tobacco, but I got some cigars and stuff. They're broken. Oh my God, they're broken. Why would they do that? Oh, oh yeah. I mean, at least we still have the offering. Yeah, they can take it if they want, but that sucks. Big shouts out to Michelle. 
one of our beloved members for giving me that idea. Maybe this could trigger that woman that is seen here and potentially get her to come out. Or also, even any of the other Wapanog tribe members. Yeah, it also just shows that like, we're coming up with peace, you know? Yeah, we're gonna wait till the sun sets and give it our all, send it full send here. I mean, we're not only hunting for a spirit here, there's cryptid beasts known to be here. Also keep your eyes out for little orbs of light. Apparently that's a Pukwudgie. They can transform into an orb of light and they can be seen here. So orbs, any of that stuff, light anomalies, sounds, EVPs, roars, anything like that, comment down below. Let us know what you guys heard. Keep hearing like a roar, like a roar. Mm -hmm. <laughs> My God. All right, let's wait until nightfall. It's game time, baby. It's game time. So whatever we hear, we should not deem it to be a cryptid or anything until we get specific proof. Yeah, I agree. Of that. So set up a rim pod down there. We're just going to go with the spiritual aspect of things. You know, in the back of my mind, I think we should keep the cryptid stuff back there. But let's just stick with trying to figure out if this woman is still here. Yeah. You okay? Yeah, I just... I keep feeling like someone's like walking like around us. When you were setting up your camera too, like this one down here, the REM pod that you put in the forest started to go off as well. Oh, yeah. Is the woman here? Just it's going off. It is? It's actually going off. Oh yeah. Someone down there. Spear talk. The REM pod is just right on that rock. Right there. This is kind of freaky. Like all the stories that we've heard, all the hype, and now we're finally here. It's just kind of waiting, you know, like it's lingering. It's what's going to happen next. Like I'm constantly turning around. It is a complete different vibe starting in the day. Like it was kind of peaceful and now it's like, it's got that eerie, heavy vibe. It's, yeah, it's getting weird. Yeah. Like actually. Of course. It's just said, of course. Of course. That's weird. <laughs> you have to make sure that the um, yeah, ringer is yeah. off. That the what? The ringer. Yeah, I got it. So I guess we'll start off with introducing ourselves. My name is Chelsea. I'm Lamar. And what we're doing is... Had a hard life. In the oh, REM pod. Wow. In the REM pod. Right there. What we're doing is trying to reach out to the woman that is seen here. Or anyone, to be honest, who sticks around this ground. The Wapanong tribe. Anybody. Did you hear that? Yeah. We have a device with us as well that you can use to either get energy yeah, right you have that one there. We also have one that you use that you can say words and we'll be able to hear you. Or you can also use me and send me messages. If you're the woman that people claim to see here, can you go ahead and hold that device on the ground? It was literally like someone went like clap clap and then the REM pod like held and did what you asked. I was clapping though. 
I was clapping. Was that you who was clapping? Healthy. You're healthy now? Okay, now I'm, I'm, that set me off. Did a spirit just clap? Can you do it again? What was that? It's a bird, what the? The REM pod just stopped going off too. I just heard walking like way down there. Okay, they weren't kidding when this forest is actually I've messed never up. I've a bird like that though. Choice. Joyce. Hi, Joyce. Joyce, are you a part of this land? I you know what? Bat. What was that? A bat. That was a bat? That was a bat. No way, there was a bat up there? That was a bat. It just flew I think this I, side. I think I saw that. Oh, wow. This side? I forgot to mention that Freetown State Forest, babe, in the Bridgewater Triangle, People have actually came here to commit suicide. People have came here to take their own life. To take their own life. People have come here and have been murdered. Are we talking to someone who was murdered here? Dude, why are the animals like. Oh, listen. As soon as it got dark, they all just came out. Who are we talking to? Camp. 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 Oh my god, and we had just set a fire. Yeah. We had a fire going up over there while we were waiting for it to get dark. Were you with us when we were camping? Oh my god. Charles, someone just held that. The big red lights went on. Which means that, that was physically touched. Like really good. Can you hold that device if you were with us while we were making a fire? Make it go off for a couple seconds if you were. Wow. Way down there. You just heard it in the body. So Here, let's go down this way. Feel free to play with that device if you want. Something came from down there. Are we talking to a Pukwaji? If so, we hear you show yourself in orbs of light. Can you do that for us tonight? Eric. Eric with a K. Hi, Eric. Eric with a K. That's interesting. Eric, if that's you, can you touch that device in front of us? So, do you want to swap cameras for a sec? I'm just a little bit confused. I don't know if what we're talking to is human. I mean, it's hard to tell, right? Be oh my gosh. Um. <laughs> Look at that. That was held. That was held. When the red lights go off like that, that means something is physically touching that wire right now. A demon here. Jesus! Jesus! 
Oh my god, look at it go. Jeez, baby. Are you part of the satanic ritual cults that were here? Do that again. Oh my god. What? 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 Did you see? What did you see? <gasps> Jess, what is going on? I just saw someone standing right on the f top of the rocks. Are you serious? Oh my gosh. Actually? Yeah, yeah. Like a tall, tall black shadow. Could it be that woman? No, 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 that's not a woman. I don't know what that is. Oh my gosh! It's copying me. It copied me. Just said Jesus. Oh my gosh. Yo, this place. I'm I'm What if someone's here from the ritual cult? It is known, it is straight up known that people are still doing ritual cults in this forest. No joke. Right now, it is known that people to this day have been doing ritual cults. Right now, someone could be. Not saying it's happening, but you never know, right? And the stuff that's been conjured up could actually be lingering. lingering. There's so much murders, everything, the whole nine yards, you name it, has happened here. Can you confirm that this land is cursed? Did the Wapanoak tribe or the Algonquin tribe curse this land, the Triangle? I need to go over there. Should this we put bit. the REM pod away? Just work with... Oh, the REM pod has been pretty... Ow. What? Something's like touching my elbow. Actually? Yeah, like they like pinched it. Ah, that's like... Are you good? Yeah, that's actually painful. It feels like someone came up and just like pinched the back of my like arm right here. Oh. Who's there? Who is this? Bobby. Bobby. Bobby, did you pass away here? Give us a sign if you did. This is weird. This is actually... <laughs> I think we have to go to that side. Which side? Just over here. Like up the rocks around or yeah. down through here? Up the, up the rocks. I just I keep hearing walking over there. Should we take the REM pod back? Yeah, I think we should take it with us. Share my story. Okay, we'll share your story, but you have to tell us your story first. Is there a way you want to tell us your story? So we're not talking to the woman, though. This isn't the woman, you think? I don't know. I don't think so. I don't know, though. Whatever I saw was not a woman. Unless it didn't, it didn't look like. This forest straight up changed vibes like that. I've never seen anything like it. Yeah, as soon as dark hit. It was so, like we had a fire up there. It was fun. We took some photos. As soon as the sun set, animals came out, footsteps, clapping, just the whole vibe. Apparition of the already? I like to play games. <laughs> You like if you like to, to play, play games, games, why don't you appear for us? They already did. Appear on our cameras, please. I I thought this would have been just like a place. You good? Yeah. Sorry. I thought this would have been a place where, you know, I, I believe in all the stuff that went down here, but I still feel like some of it's a little hyped up, but the energy matches to all mm -hmm. of it. It's just, I don't know if it's just, 
because of all of those claims, we're both feeling sketch. I don't know if it's just a mind game or I don't know if this is even legitimately. I mean, from what we've been experiencing already just in the last hour of being here, honestly, like, I believe all the claims. All of them. At least the spiritual side. We haven't really encountered any, like, cryptid stuff, but the Not spiritual part, side? Yeah. yeah, I... This is a hot spot. Well, the Native Americans came here. Okay, let's move up, let's move up, let's move up. Mm -hmm. Can the woman appear for us if you are here? Remember, we can't jump to any conclusions. A lot of this could- I will flash the lights. <gasps> Whoa! I've never heard Spirit Talker say that. I will flash the lights. Okay. And what's supposed to appear here? Light anomalies too. Oh my God, that's right. Are we talking to- We're talking to a bunch. There's multiple. Puckwudgie? I'm so caught up on puckwudgies. You are. I, I, I truly want to capture one. Husband. Husband. Husband of the wife? Maybe. I don't know why the wife resides here. Like, I don't know her story. Do you want to tell us your story? What happened here? Why you like to stay on this ledge? Where do you like to appear to people? Down by the water? Did you hear a girl? There's movement. It's coming. We go down into the forest there and um, see if we can, you know, talk to something because they may actually be down there too. I just, I'm going to pack up this camera so we don't leave in case someone comes. Yeah, it's a good idea. But uh, I think we should venture down. Okay. Are you good to do that or? Yeah, I'm good. I just, I know we keep hearing stuff from over that way, but I just keep getting this weird like feeling that we shouldn't go near it. I feel like either, I don't think we're gonna get pushed. Well, I don't know, I really hope not. But I keep feeling like people have been pushed. Really? Yeah, I just, I keep getting the strong feeling of like, just careful near the cliff. I just wanna keep repeating it. What we can do is we can go through here because I checked it on the daytime, the paths down there connect. Okay. Let's do that then, just to play it safe. Everything's packed up. We're going to turn this into an adventure and see what the hell's down there. <laughs> I'm really confused and wanting to. Hello? That was the knock. That was like something on the trees or something. Oh sh son of a What the oh. What's up with this path? Listen, listen. Oh. Hello? If you are a spirit, make yourself known. There's three. Holy Three. Fall up. Somebody down there. 
I wonder if it's a human though. Someone's down there. We're we're just exploring. What if someone's trying to scare us? You know what I mean? Oh, oh, oh! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Hun, go back. No, I asked. Something's on the trees. I like around the trees right now. But this is what we asked for. We asked the spirit to make themselves known. I know, that almost sounds like that was too physical. All of my cryptid senses are coming in. I'm not saying it is, but it could be some sort of animal. Is someone down there? Holy Something to do with this path. Like something must have happened on this path that makes it. Yeah, this is uh this is actually weird. Like I, I feel like a lot of blood was shed. A lot of blood? Yeah. Something to do with blood. Oh my god, look at that tree right there. Tree sideways. Oh yeah. <laughs> and I always, I always picture a Bigfoot just knocking all of those over. Is anyone here from the Wapanop tribe? We would really like to talk to you. Was that you that just made those noises? I have a device here. It will not hurt you. What it's going to do, like you've been seeing, it's gonna say some voices and some words that, sh that some of you guys are saying. So please come and talk through this, okay? Are we safe to proceed? Give us a sign if we are safe to proceed. Or welcome to proceed. This is almost, in a way, a little bit worse than the Hockamock. Do you get that or do you find the Hockamock Mildred. Mildred. Do you smell that? It smells like... I don't... It's like dirt. Like musty. It doesn't smell good. Like wet dog almost. Yeah. Yeah, it smells like wet animal. A butterfly. Oh, what Fly color? Around. Where'd it go? Just vanished. Where'd it go? Dorothy. Dorothy. Why are you saying Dorothy? Oh my God! There's trees knocked down over here, Bob. This does not look safe. This looks like we're walking into a straight ass nightmare. Yeah, it honestly does. Oh! What was that? Is somebody walking down there? Talk. Oh! Oh! No! What? Something's off. It's like we're being you, watched. You okay? We're being watched. Break. I wish we had a third person here. God 
It's funny that you just say that because there's three spirits. I was talking about like filmers or no, friends we could have had here. I know. Like, we're deep. Like we're straight up deep. Where we are right now is a very big property. There's over 5,000 acres. This whole triangle, this whole forest Died is over. Died in battle. <gasps> Chills. No. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. That's cool. Wow. Thank you for coming out tonight and chatting with us and telling us that. King Philip's War. That was the war here between the Native Americans and the European settlers, King Philip's War. Can you tell us the year that you died in battle? In the corner. Oh, Jesus. Oh. The corner. The corner of what? What does that even mean? The corner of the triangle? Oh, son of a Can you tell us something about yourself? Yo, does it look foggy to you right there? Where? Right in front of us. Like all of a sudden just like I don't fog. I don't really see it. Like a white mist. Can you let us know if you were a Wapanoak tribe member? Anne. Or an Algonquin? Why do I feel there's a damn when to go? <laughs> Stop. <laughs> like, Dagger Woods set me off so bad, I feel like any second now we're gonna hear a damn roar. That's the second time you told us that. What kind of games do you like to play? You like to hide? Yo, check this out. Tree got chewed up. Oh yeah, could have been mites. Zachary. Where's Zachary? Zachary. Hi, Zachary. Zachary, can you tell us what you have to do with this land and why you're here? Look at this. Zoom into there. Zoom into this for a sec. One bar already again. Remember that oh, happened yeah. last time? We were working on full batteries here, Bob. What's the battery on that thing right now? Full. Full battery? Yeah, You're joking right now. Yeah, it straight up says full. Yeah. Next to drain that one. Okay, well, I gotta reload. Look to the right. Oh, 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 okay. oh my gosh. Are you gonna show yourself? Okay, something snapped down there, something's down there. Rosemary. Rosemary. It's really rude, I keep saying members of my family. Rosemary? Yeah, and then it said Dorothy, then it said, um, Someone else at the very beginning. All right, I gotta reload. Who, who the f is there? Who's that? Is there a hiker? Holy f What? Explain it, explain. Chels? Um, um. What, dude? I think there's a hiker, either that or I just saw someone just walk nonchalant. That was weird. They weren't holding anything. They didn't have a backpack. They didn't have. It's like they were just wearing a black shirt, walking. If they were oh, 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 shh, shh, shh. That's the weird part. They were just walking with nothing. Holy 
issue. I think that's what the spirit box is trying to get us to look at. Chelsea, that was, I'm shaking right now. I'm shaking right now. Maybe you just saw Zachary. Uh, that was out of a f movie. That was straight out of a scene of a movie. Almost looked like a zombie. You know how like one solo zombie is walking and it's just dangling around? Yeah. That's what it looked like through the trees. Yeah. Something was just through there. I just saw. I think that was an apparition. I wouldn't I wouldn't doubt that. You saw one, I saw one, I definitely do not doubt that. Oh. It makes sense though because literally it, it had just told us like look to the right. Yeah, I but it, it was weird. That was a bald man. Oh, so you saw like it wasn't like an apparition. You saw like details. That, you know, it looked like a normal person, like an actual person. Like just walking, but it didn't have any lights, no nothing, just a black shirt just walking. That's the weird part. Like that's what's actually scaring me right now. Be careful. What if that is a real person? Oh. That was a breath. I think we need to go up a bit. What if that someone's like about to do a ritual? Because think, about that. think of it. They would be walking around in the dark so that they're not seen. Keep in mind, people have went missing here. That's this flashlight, we'll see a little bit deeper. Turn that light off. It was deeper down here. Whoever I just saw was deeper down here. Listen to that, listen to that. Someone's up to no good. I think so too. I think we need to get to open land. Um. Maybe we can watch our surroundings. <laughs> I'm convinced now that was not a spirit I saw. That was not a spirit I saw. I saw an actual person. Okay. Let's move up to back to the rocks ledge. Okay. Go back. Let's just go. Turn that light on. Someone is right behind us and they are hiding in the shadows right now. Let's make our way back up to the rocks. Oh, son of a Son of a Come on. Sorry, I thought I saw something. That was just my eyes that time. I also just want to jog up there. Christ. Chels, this is actually screwed up. Why is one person by himself down there? I just don't want to be sacrificed tonight in any sort of rit ritual. No, uh. oh. Let's check in our backs. Someone's lurking down there and that's not chill.
Was this glass here? Yeah. It was? Yeah, it was. Okay. Uh, I just need a breather. Me you okay? Yeah, just, just give me bad anxiety. Just the fact that like people have gone missing here. Hikers have been like murdered. I just I feel vulnerable because like we're out of country in a complete diff out of our country in a complete different area. We're, Whole different know. region, states. We don't know like where we are at all, you know. Is that an ATV? What do, you, what do we do? Honestly, maybe we start slowly making our way back. Yeah, maybe. Want to swap for yeah. a second? Take that. Um. We'll keep keep everything rolling. Just keep our surroundings up, but... Yeah, we're going to keep this rolling. Um, This turned into... From a ghost hunt. Like, son of a I was really looking to ghost hunt and try and capture the woman. But this turned out to be something more survival-like. I think it's just a, it's a combination of both, right? This place is so massive, we don't know how many people are just out here right now. But I, I definitely think we also caught some like paranormal stuff, like with the uh, REM pod going off and... Yeah, so for what I freaking saw, you're right, the paranormal activity we could still probably do it, but it's only the fact, what if the person I saw, because there's, there's no way that was a spirit. He was bald, had nothing on him. He could have shut off his light when, you know, we walked down. But if he were to come up on us, we don't know if he's packing. We don't know if he's going to kill us. Yeah. Like, that's just where my mind goes. It's, it could just be a random dude who literally just wants to be hiking at this time. We, no idea. Not our business, but it is our business to try and stay, like, you know, alive the best we can. It's just this. <laughs> the phenomenons are just crazy. I, I'm not wrapping my head around. It's just so much has happened in this forest. I'm not, it's not processing yet. And I'm almost getting like a threatening feeling. We still got like a pretty long hike to get back to where we parked. So yeah. I say we still keep ghost hunting. Let's make our way down. And uh, continue the path. We gotta come here with a third person. Maybe even a group. A group? I would love to come back here with like Jeff or Angelo or something. Yeah, like Jeff, Angelo, and Frank. Just everyone. Yeah. This almost seems different from what we've we even walked into. It's so different at night. Hmm? It's so different at night. I know. Keep in mind, the rocks that we were just at, you know, that's not the only place things go down. It's all over this freaking forest. All over, yeah. So we've been walking on our way out. We gotta be really careful. Yeah, just hop over that. Look though, there's ways up there like almost everywhere just leads in a different way. You know? Yeah. It looks so different. Someone here? That is flashing. Is it? Yeah.
you shut that off. We're gonna go in all night vision. Jesus. I feel so th threatened and vulnerable right now. What, what, what? Did you see someone? No, I'm just checking. Oh, 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 oh. What? Did you hear that? There's any spirits here? Can you tell us who we're talking to or who's with us? Devil. Holy shit. Just said the freaking devil. I know. I know. <laughs> that doesn't surprise me. Um. Are we talking to. No, don't. Don't. Don't what, hun? I know what you're about to ask. We came ask all that. this way, we need to. No, you're not asking that. Not what you're about to ask. Um, hun? I can't feel my legs right now. I can't feel my legs. Oh my god, I, I actually can't feel my legs right now. I don't know what's happening. Shake them. I actually don't know what's happening right now. What does it feel like? Like my legs just went numb. Like a sleep numb or? Yeah. Ah, oh, like they're tingling right now. Are you able to walk? Holy sh Take that for a second. Oh, my legs. I can't. I can't, I can't move on the ground then. It's okay, I got it. Oh my god, that was weird. You okay? Yeah, like right after. Right I miss my family. Right after all that, my legs just went weird. They're coming back now. Okay. Give me a moment. You okay? Yeah. There's that bird again. Okay. You good to keep walking? Oh, yeah. Okay, here that you go. Was, that was messed up. There you go. I think that was something that yeah, just try to push through it, okay? I felt, I felt targeted there. You okay? Yeah. I think Busy. Busy. I so oh. wish we were able to drive the car down here. I know, right? That was weird. That was actually really weird. How are your legs feeling now? Tired. Had to take a moment to actually all come back. So my only question is why are people lurking down here? Why, like what's the motive to do these rituals and stuff? Like it's known to be a satanic ritual force. People legitimately go missing here. People have been murdered. Like why, why, you know? I don't know, probably because this place holds a lot of energy that people are able to reach out to the other side more on this ground, you know? Yeah, I mean, that makes sense. But also, it seems so far into the middle of nowhere where it's just, it makes sense to dump a body, you know? Like it's, people have driven out here because in the 70s and 80s, you could probably drive this. It's so far out of, in the middle of nowhere, seems to be the perfect place. There's those things. We turn right. Just coming up. Oh, 
Charles? What? Remember those freaking jackets? Yeah, they're still there. Think about it. Take a second, think about it. Wait, one of them's gone. One of them's gone? Yeah. Are you sure? The plaid one. I don't see it. Wait, wait, we gotta, let's double check. Could be there. I don't see it. I don't know if it's my eyes. One's there on the I end. I see the one. But Chels, think about it. I know. The person I saw, that could be his. It could be. Yeah, you're right. Um. You're right. Let's just keep walking. We don't need to stop. I think we just gotta. Yeah, because at this point we're just kind of rolling for the experience out. If anything does happen or go down, we have it on camera. I mean, probably not the smartest to go in night vision or completely IR, but just in case we can stay a little bit stealthy, we do have a flashlight rolling. So. Okay? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. It's crazy though, like you really can't feel the amount of energy this place holds. I but know. it's like a mixture of light and dark. Like you can tell like some people have come here to do like like light magic. And then other people have come here to do like black magic. I just don't know if... Keep walking. I know, honey. I just... I need a second though at the same time. I know this is a little bit different than, you know, our normal episodes, but I truly want to document the stuff that goes on down here. From what I saw, we might have to cut it a little bit short. What? what? Was that something that you rubbed together? The noise? Yeah, okay, that's what I heard. Jesus. to catch more paranormal stuff we will but it's also like we also have to keep our safety in mind yeah oh man you know what we should do what? since the other side of the forest is quite far from here we should check the other side of Free State River. Yeah, we can go back to the car and uh, drive to the other side. Yeah, because that's far from here and far from that dude that's roaming by himself. Exactly. Give us some, a more like deeper opportunity to investigate yeah. without being so worried about... Oh. Okay. Keep going. Oh, that was a giggle. What's with the f giggles here? I don't know. What's with the giggles? Remember they said they like to play games? Oh, this is incredible. All right, you guys heard that? Um, completely unexplainable. Now, some of you guys in the comments might actually be wondering why we leave in situations like this and it's just because of danger like to keep us safe spiritually and to just stay alive for many humans with bad intentions oh, that was f 
baby. I know. <laughs> like, what? Okay. Okay. I do say, though, I like your idea of heading up the other part of the forest. It gets us far enough away from whoever or whatever that was, and then gives us an opportunity to see if we're able to catch any more paranormal evidence. But that giggle, though, did anything come to mind? Anything at all? What do you mean? Like, when we just heard that giggle, did you not get any sort of message? Like, what? All, all that comes to mind is just they want to play games. That's you don't know who it was or what? No. Keep in mind, like, I, I'm a little anxious right now, so I'm, it's a little harder, but all that comes to mind is just, I miss you. Okay. It's just that whatever it is, is like messing with us in the sense, I think they're just trying to trick us. Yeah. What the hell? My camera just shut off. Our camera just shut off. Really? But what did you just say? I did all night. We've been getting demon, devil, entity, and they'll portray themselves as little girls giggling, trying to play with us, play tricks with us to entice us. Yeah. That's really sketch. Okay. Well, whatever's here, we're gonna leave it. If we do come back, we're gonna bring a group. Angelo, Frank, Jeff, whoever wants to freaking come. See, this is why I kind of put out there, you know, on my Instagram, does anyone want to come on a haunted forest hike and join us? Because I feel like this is dangerous roaming just two of us I in one of the most haunted forests in all of America. It'd also be kind of like nice to have a local who knows the area. Yeah, I just put it up so last minute. That's, that's civilization? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I think this has to be continued. I think so. All right, well, we made it back to civilization. Thank God. I just don't know what it is about down there. You just feel like you're gonna die. Like actually, that's the best way to describe it. There's no beating around the bush. I felt like I was gonna die. We're still out of breath, it's crazy. Are you okay though? Everything yeah, I'm good. Went down? Yeah, I just I want to get back to the car. I mean, roads right there. Um, I think we're good at this point, but we're gonna try the other side of Free State Forest and see what else we can find. We're gonna pretty much base this off spiritual activity. You know, maybe we'll catch something else, but I think you're right. We'll we'll have to pop up, continue this in a different part. Let's just get out of here, I guess. <laughs>